In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a slide menu in your Android app prototypes. It can also be used in iOS app prototypes. To quickly create a basic slide menu, you have a ready-made widget and you only need to drag and drop it onto the canvas. If you want to create it from scratch, create a new Android prototype and add a menu button widget in the top left-hand corner of the canvas. Then, drag a dynamic panel to the canvas, which will serve as our slide menu container. Use the alignment tools to ensure that your widgets are evenly spaced. Add your own content to the dynamic panel. Drag a rectangle widget to the canvas Set its color to black and change its transparency. Then mark it as hidden. The rectangle will serve to darken the main content when the slide menu appears. Group the dynamic panel and the rectangle widget together. Position the rectangle widget lower down than the dynamic panel in the outline tab. Now it's time to add the interactions. Select the menu button, add an on tap and show event. Selecting the rectangle widget. Add a fade effect with a duration of 100 milliseconds. Now, let's add an action that will make the slide panel move from the left to the center of the screen. Add an on tap and move event. Select the dynamic panel. Change the left position to 305 pixels and leave the top as it is. Add an ease in out quad effect with a duration of 300 milliseconds. To add interaction to the slide menu, we will need to add an event to the content displays within the dynamic panel. Choose one of the elements and create an on tap and move event. Select the dynamic panel. Set the left position to minus 305 pixels and leave the top position as it is. Add an ease in quad effect with a duration of 300 milliseconds. Add an on tap and hide event. With a fade effect of a duration of 100 milliseconds. The hide interaction will be applied to the rectangle widget when the side menu will slide out. We will need to add an event to each individual element in each display. Just copy and paste the event to the rest of the elements. If you want to show different pages for each menu item, you can easily do it creating different screens in the content panel and adding link to events on the list items in the slide panel.